at Osford Station, the 11th, the 7th, 2015. And what we see is the remains of, uh, well, obviously what was here in the 50s, and I'll just point out a few things. We swing around up to that rock there, and just zoom in there tightly. On the left-hand side, you can see the remains of the upper quadrant signal. Uh, that was the start of the automatic uh, signals between there and, uh, and the south, uh, certainly down to Colcliffe. Uh, where the V8 sign is there, or 8V, that's, that's for a V set to stop, an 8 car V set. Uh, that was the former stairs which went up to there. And then you walked up from there to the National Park. This quite broad brick structure here originally housed two water tanks and the water from Otford Dam was pumped to here and there were water columns just there and uh, the steam engines would have uh, collected their water on their way south. Also there was a train from Sydney, or at least, at least one, which used to terminate here in the afternoon from Sydney uh, and the train used to run around it, the engine used to run around its train so it would take water here to go back. Mm. Uh, this is uh, where the original platform buildings were. They're all gone now, and we've got this new structure here. Just pan around to that. Uh, and we're now in the days of open cards. Uh, and take me to your leader. Where you buy tickets? Where you buy tickets is permanently closed. Uh, map of the Royal National Park, and out of interest, here's Wedding Cake Rock with people standing on it. And then we come around to here, and what we've got is the footbridge which was put in uh, with electrification in 1986 to, um, to pretty much uh, you know, provide a safeguard for people coming from the Royal National Park. But silly, the silly move is you come all the way down that steep hill, down those steep stairs, you walk across there. You walk down to that level, you climb the stairs yet again to get over there to get to here. Uh, so it's it's pretty nonsense. It would have been better to have shot the stairs across from there at a greater height, had them come down here, put this building down here. In the background here, uh, we have a lot of works. We have uh, some, some engineering works. We've got about six major pylons going in because this footbridge has actually got a heritage order on it. And apart from that, it's a modern ghastly structure. Uh, it's shaking itself, uh, it's always been unstable and shaking itself, uh, with, or rather the coal trains going through shake it, and it's always been in danger of collapsing. So that's what this uh, structure here on the left is for. Uh, they're going to shore it up. And pretty soon we're going to see, hopefully, the original locomotives that used to work really with the heart and soul of the Illawarra, the 32 class. Uh, it'll be 32-37 with an American style 59 class behind it uh, heading on a uh, train to uh, down the Illawarra and it's, it's a one-way uh, train going from Sydney Terminal down to Wollongong up the hill and back and it's a nighttime sort of a, a dinner tour and that was, we hope to see but the signals are still red down there so we've, we've uh, just having a look both signals are red, so it's not aug it's not auguring well. You just might see both signals are red. You zoom up to that. Oh yes, your royal big shot. <laughs> what can I say? They're red. Yeah. Now, just adding a little bit more to this commentary on Oxford Station with, re with regard to this structure. The passengers used to get off the train there. At the, that's the, the that's still the original platform, uh, un, untouched. The actual uh, structure of the platform itself. People used to get off there and walk along this what we, we call duck boarding, as it were, uh, down to to that point there, where which they actually physically walked across the tracks on um, on duck boarding there. Uh, actual little timber uh, way that people could come across there. Uh, and, and actually when they walked along here, as the water was going into the tender of the steam engines, they, there would be a chance that there'd be water spraying over them. So they used to have to, uh, they used to have a bit of chicanery walking along there. Hmm. 
Ah, the Bondi Junction train, because of railway line crossovers, was the reason the steam train was delayed. And now we can hear the steam train starting up in the distance. An interesting contrast between modern and old. Which do you prefer? <laughs> 